It's about my um, two Siamese cats. We three lived together for, uh, for 15 years. I got interested in writing about them because um, of my professional background as a researcher in um, linguistics, especially sociolinguistics, where people interact, how people interact in society with each other and from different backgrounds, different language backgrounds. So I just found myself in a situation where I could, in a sense, pretend that I was engaging in intercultural communication with them. The mother cat, Gong, had been given to me as a Christmas present by three, six students of mine when I was teaching in, in Mexico. But she was extremely talkative with me. I interacted, would vocalize, and would start vocalizing even though I hadn't said anything, you know. Reminded me of the days when I was traveling on the trains from where I was living into Tokyo. And I would notice that people would nod their heads or make make uh, make noises in ways to show they were listening. It was similar, and so I started listening, paying attention, and that's that's where it all started. There's a lot of interest in the U.S. in, in uh, memoirs, and I did read several of them, including Travels with Charlie. And when I read that, I realized, wait a minute, this is basically about Steinbeck. Just just a little bit about the the dog. And I didn't want it to be that way. I wanted to emphasize the cats. I was sometimes writing for them, like producing a memoir of their lives to the extent that I could, you know, as um, as a human being with different different ways of communicating, different means to communicate. It's also indirectly um, an example of how science can be involved in your everyday life. That you can take um, a you know, step back, observe, pay attention, do sort of be an anthropologist um, and in paying attention to what the cats want, what they seem to need. I think it, it brought a sense of closure, but it also made um, it pri prioritize maybe the, the good sides, you know, and, and all the good experiences and maybe not so much the bad experiences. You know, for example, in the book, there are two chapters of, about Momo's illnesses, um, Bong's daughter's illnesses. And that it's, it's part of life, you know, it's just like getting pregnant and giving, giving birth to a litter is part of life. We all, most of us, especially for female, go through some of those experiences. I'm Virginia Lo Castro, and Opus has brought my book to life.